New figures from Dubai's government show that tourism is continuing to grow at the Emirates. What source markets and factors are driving this growth? And what does the future hold? To find out more, I'm here with Bern Debusman. My name is Shayan Shakil. You're watching Inside AV. So Bernie, can you tell us about these new figures that have been coming out? Yeah, so last week, uh, Dubai Tourism released new figures that said 8.1 million visitors came to Dubai in the first half of 2018. Uh, and that the Emirates tourism sector is now worth 109 billion dirhams. That's $29.6 billion. And of the source markets, India remains number one. Over a million Indians visited in, in the first half of the year, uh, followed by Saudi Arabia and the United Kingdom. So almost as many people visited Dubai in the first half as the population of the country. <laughs> um, Bernie, can you tell us, uh, you, you said India was sent over the most visitors. What mm -hmm. are some other noteworthy countries where these uh, visitors are coming from? Well, recently, of course, everyone's been talking about China, and that one's grown quite a bit. China came in fourth place. Uh, it's a 9% year-on-year increase to 453,000 visitors. Russians, for their part, it's a 74% increase uh, to 405,000 visitors. And oh, wow. that's both, ex both countries has explained there's kind of an easing of travel restrictions, visa on arrival. So that explains the big jump, especially for Russian citizens. Oh, wow. And there's a huge uh, call for more uh, easing of travel restrictions to boost even more growth um, based on conversations that we've been having lately. Um, what about hotel supply, Bernie? What do the numbers show there? Well, as of the end of June, there's about 700 hotel establishments in, in D D Dubai across you know, different kinds of hotels with 113,317 rooms. Uh, that's 7% more than the first half of last year. Oh my gosh. Um, I, one thing I thought was interesting was mid-market hotels, which seems to be a, a trend that's picking up pace in Dubai, went from 114 to 138 in just the, this half. Oh, wow. That's um, really good. So that's kind of, I think that's something that we'll be seeing a lot more of, you know, as more people That's very come strong. Um, what plans does Dubai Tourism have in the immediate future to keep these numbers growing at the rate that they are? Well, besides they're usually marketing campaigns in different source markets, I think one thing that I've kind of noticed is that they're focusing a lot on the Chinese market, especially, of course, the two weeks ago, we had UAE China week. Right. Um, so they're doing a lot to, to kind of woo those tourists. Uh, more and more places, for example, in Dubai Mall are accepting Alipay and Union Pay, these uh, you know, very popular Chinese payment methods. Right. Um, there's new initiatives to implement Chinese concierge services in Dubai, uh, Mandarin speaking, um, just to make them more comfortable and uh, come here more. And just as importantly, there's marketing campaigns in, I think, more than 100 Chinese cities uh, for Dubai. So I think that's something that's going to continue to jump more and more, especially because of the visa restrictions, like we mentioned before. All right. So we're going to see a, a lot more visitors in the second half of 2018 as well. We are. They're on pace to, to hit their numbers, um, according to Dubai Tourism. So we'll see. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Bernie, for those insights. You've been watching Inside AB. Remember to subscribe and comment below and tune in tomorrow for the next edition of this series. Thank you for watching.